We've got a lot of activity on our radar still. still. Thankfully, it's not severe warned at this time. We did see some severe warnings in this area earlier. And now I actually stand corrected. That one just popped up as I was talking. So I'll have to go back and check what this is severe warned for. But I can imagine you can see a lot of heavy rain right here. It's almost kind of borderline into this black. So I imagine that's going to be for hail, heavy rain, as well as possibly some gusty winds and lightning in the George West area. So uh, here in the next minute, when I can get back to my computer, I'll be able to track that out for y'all. Otherwise, the rest of the coastal bend, we're starting to see some more activity west of Alice and over towards uh, east of Alice and over towards Sinton and Rockport. So that is going to set the stage for a busy day heading into the rest of this morning. Temperatures in the 70s right now heading throughout the rest of this morning. Our rain chances drastically going up heading into lunchtime. That's about when our highest chances are going to be and then fading out into the rest of this evening. So temperature wise and cloud wise, we are going to have more clouds in the earlier part of the day with lower temperatures compared to yesterday, but still warm temperatures in the upper 80s feeling around 90 degrees. Here's what Futurecast is painting a picture of. You can see a lot of activity covering the radar into lunchtime and staying with us through the afternoon temperatures in the 80s. Maybe a stray storm working across heading into this evening and then this uh, overnight into tomorrow morning. Much, much calmer, waking up very similar temperatures to what we did today around 70 degrees and then tomorrow afternoon with a lot more sunshine, high temperatures getting into the 90s. So if you're heading out to beach to bay, expect very warm temperatures. It's going to be pretty OK heading into the first leg or two of the race. But by the time we're wrapping up temperatures in the 90s, feeling closer to 100 and that's not even the hottest we're going to get high temperatures going back into the low to mid 90s. A couple different records being challenged over the next several days with lots of humidity coming back into the coastal bend, meaning heat advisories are going to be likely heading into early next week. So we have a front that came through and that is why we're seeing slightly cooler temperatures this morning. However, it's going to hang out to our south through the weekend and then eventually go forth uh, to the north as a warm front, meaning a lot more humidity coming back into the coastal bend. And that's why we're going to see those feels like temperatures jump up. Unfortunately, this front you see here not going to make it into the coastal bend. I think it just kind of gets dragged across the northern part of the state and we just see high pressure over top of us as well as a lot of humidity, which means pretty hot weather. Here's a look at today's high temperatures 88 in Corpus Christi 80s around the rest of the coastal bend over the next couple of days through this weekend. Lots of sunshine, so that's a nice change from the cloud and humid weather we've been seeing. However, it is still going to feel quite warm the next few days. 90s pretty much all week, but feels like temperatures in the triple digits six out of the next seven days. John Thomas.